right, everyone. This is Zahid Bashir. Uh, today we are going to cover uh, some advanced part in data entry phase. Uh, this is online training on SPSS 27. And uh, we are uh, covering the basic level of SPSS. It is day fifth and it is 12th March 2024. Uh, the time has changed to 9 to 9.40. Uh, myself, Zahid Bashir, I am a faculty member at Department of Commerce, University of Gujarat, and I am a PhD scholar at Haley College of Commerce, University of Punjab. So, uh, what we have, uh, uh, what we need to cover in this uh, training, we have cover, covered so far the basic environment and the layout familiarity. We have discussed the basic data management using different menus in SPSS. Uh, we have discussed uh, different types of survey questionnaires like open-ended, close-ended, uh, uh, as well as adopted and adapted. Uh, we are on code book creation and data entry. I will discuss in more detail today. And uh, then there is missing value analysis that we would cover tomorrow. Uh, demographic summary and cross evaluation and so on. There are a lot more that we will cover throughout this training program. So what we are going to cover today, uh, we have discussed the basic overview of uh, questionnaire, its components, its, uh, its administration. Uh, we have discussed the types of uh, open-ended versus closed-ended and adopted versus adapted scales. Today, I will let you know uh, how to develop a questionnaire using adopted or adapted. Uh, this this was the basic concern of uh, Miss Hina uh, that she asked me uh, in WhatsApp that how to uh, develop a questionnaire using adapted or adapted technique. Uh, so I will let you know today uh, how you can develop a questionnaire if you need to collect some data for your analysis. And then on the basis of that questionnaire, how can uh, we create the code book, how can we enter the data? So this, these are the basic things that you need to understand. So uh, let me explain to you about uh, the practical examples of adopted and adapted uh, skills. So I would like to show you some uh, research papers uh, where uh, there are some parts of it uh, that we can use uh, for uh, developing our own questionnaire. For example, this is a study exploring consumer purchase intention in social commerce, an empirical study based on trust, argument quality, and social presence. So this is uh, a, some kind of uh, primary data study uh, related to marketing domain, although your domain might be different. But the development technique of a questionnaire would be same in all the disciplines. So I will let you know that how you can develop a questionnaire. So first you need to understand uh, what are the basic variables here, like they have used purchase intention uh, as a response variable, they have used trust uh, as a customer internal status. These are the variables. They have used social presence as a variable. So uh, we need to understand how they have developed a different uh, variable set, like they have used perceived informativeness and perceived persuasiveness uh, as an impact on uh, trust. Uh, this would be the first dependent variable. Then they have uh, 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 observed the impact of uh, trust on purchase intention and uh, on trust award side and social presence was used as a moderating variable. So we need to understand how they have developed their questionnaire. So let's suppose we need to have their questionnaire items. So we need to see this part. Normally the questionnaire is provided as a appendix in different research papers. So how they have measured the perceived informativeness, they have used the, these three items. Uh, how they have uh, measured the perceived persuasiveness, they have used these three items or statements. Uh, additionally, how they have measured trust towards 
site member, they have used three, these three uh, display variables. How they have used trust award site, they have used these three, uh, four uh, item or statement. Social presence are also measured using these three items. Purchase intention is uh, used using these three items. So whenever we need to develop uh, a questionnaire, we need to use the statement like this. Uh, now let's suppose I would like to develop my own questionnaire. How can I develop it? Simply, I need to have a word file of uh, developing adopted. Previously, I have told you that how to develop an adopted questionnaire. Adopted questionnaire means when you do not change anything from the questionnaire, you uh, take uh, the statement uh, in the same way as they are, or you uh, take uh, you, you actually done, or you actually do some minor modification in the statement. For example, let's suppose I want to consider a study on determinants of purchase intention. For example, uh, this would be my study. I need to have purchase intention variable first. So I have taken some statement from a study like PIN1, PIN2, and PIN3. So these are the three statements uh, I have taken from a study. And what study? The study is basically underdone by Xiao Liu, Zishi Bao, and Zhang in 2019. So, for example, I need to take this measure from their study. I need to mention. If I take these statement in the same way as I have uh, 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 read in their paper, this means these are adopted. I may have some minor modification also. Like, uh, for example, I intend to purchase products or service from uh, Draz.com. Let's post Draz.com. I can change it. Now, it is not a significant change. This is a normal change. I predict that I will purchase products or service on this website. I have some modification, but these are minor modification that I have done in their statements. But let's suppose uh, I want to change these statements uh, majorly. For example, Same statement that I am going to use. Let's pause. I want to copy this paragraph here. And I intend to purchase product or service from grass.com whenever I need to talk. Let's pause. I write here instead. Uh, something by by from let's call the ras now i have completely rephrased this statement the statement is totally changed however it is giving the same sense but it is completely changed now I need to write here adapted rather than adopted. Adopted is used when you are using the same statement with a minor modification. Adapted is used when you are using, when you have uh, changed the statement significantly. Similarly, you can change this statement to significantly, you can change this statement to. So when you have a significant changes 
in your statement, it means uh, you are using adapted scale. Uh, the second thing that you need to understand uh, before deciding about demographic factor, you need to see what demographic factor the previous study has used. They have mentioned about gender, age, education, and income. These are basically the demographic factors. I have shown you in my uh, questionnaire examples, like uh, I have shown you this one as a questionnaire. The first part is basically the introduction where you let the respondent know what you are going to do uh, by doing this research. And you need to provide some demographic things like name, gender, you need to ask these from your respondent. These are the demographic things that you need to ask. So in that paper, they have asked these things uh, as a control variable. So these are basically demographic factors like gender, age, education, and income. So they might have uh, here the demographic table. Yes, this one. This is basically the demographic summary, male, female, uh, he has used different categories of age. He has used education. So you can develop in the same way. Uh, you can use, uh, like they have used income in RMB. You can use uh, rupees instead. So this is how you can develop your uh, uh, questionnaire demographic items. Then uh, the section, which is basically uh, developed for asking different questions like this. This is also an adapted scale. I have uh, used this uh, variable from a study from the paper similar like this I have used. So what I did, I changed these statements significantly in order to meet the criteria of my study. Uh, and these are basically uh, the rating scale that the researcher uh, that, that the respondent will fill if he is uh, agree with this statement he will uh, click on four if he is strongly agree with this statement he will click on five if he disagree with this statement he will click on one if uh, uh, he strongly disagree he will click one if he simply disagree he will click two but if he neither agree nor disagree, he will click on three. So these statements are adopted from some studies, some research paper that uh, may cater your need because I was interested uh, in doing some research on financial knowledge impact on uh, investment behavior. So I take these statements from one paper and I significantly change these statements and I took these statements from other papers and I also significantly changed these uh, uh, statements too. So uh, you need to cater the need of your study as per your requirement. You need to see whether uh, that uh, research paper caters your need by providing different statements or not. One way is to find out uh, the relevant statement from a paper. The second way is if you could not find the complete questionnaire uh, from a study, uh, you can also email uh, their author and you can ask them to send them uh, your, uh, you can ask them to send uh, uh, you, you uh, the questionnaire if, if it is required for your study you can change the statement you can you can provide what they have used in their questionnaire so one way is to use this statement and the other way is to ask uh, the researcher to send you the questionnaire uh, i will provide you another example let me show you another example from here let me show you this paper this paper is determinant factor of Indonesian people fish purchase intention. Again, here uh, the dependent variable is purchase intention. They have uh, used these demographics like gender, male, female, age with these categories, education with these categories, 
income with these categories. So these are the things that you need to provide in the uh, demographic section. That what demographic uh, you need to use. They have used income in US dollar while you can use it in rupees. So next thing, uh, how they have measured different items. So they have provided here this statement relevant to fish. They have used fish characteristics. They have used individual characteristics. They have used environmental characteristics. They have used attitude. They have used purchase intention. So if I need to use these statements in a study, which is not relevant to fish purchase intention, but it is relevant to some other thing purchase intention like garment purchase intention, or like uh, electronic purchase intention, mobile purchase intention, I need to change the statements accordingly. Always remember, you need to replace fish with mobile phone or anything that you want to purchase. You need to adjust your statement in the same way. I cannot write here that mobile phone has an unpleasant smell. I can, uh, I can replace this statement with any other relevant statement related to mobile phone. I cannot write here that uh, the mobile fan has a good taste. So I need to significantly change these statements. Uh, rather, uh, I can use this purchase intention. When I buy mobile phone, I will buy, uh, when I will buy the electronic gadget, I will buy mobile phone. My chances of buying uh, mobile phone are very high. I intend to buy a mobile phone for uh, my daily usage. Uh, so you need to change the statement like this. Uh, take an example of another uh, article. Let's have another one. This is another article, uh, research article. And uh, the title of it, Effect of Customer Perception in Multi-Channel Retail Banking. Now, uh, I would like to see what statement they have used in their study. They have not provided the statement here, but we need to check within the text whether they have provided some statement. Yes, these ones. Social influence, these are the statement they have provided. You can change it if you want to use this particular variable knowledge sharing if you want to use knowledge sharing as your variable uh, offline familiarity if you want to use their statement always remember that you can use a scale based on the requirement of your study if uh, the title of the scale is matching but these statements are different you can change the statement you can change it uh, as per the requirement of your study uh, that it becomes the adapted scale. So in the similar way, you can see another article here. Examining the influential factor for continued social media usage. Now, social media usage. You can, you can check out how they have find out the influential factor on social media usage. So I need to show you something like this is the model. They have used information sharing, social interaction, entertainment, subjective norm like interpersonal influence, media influence, facilitating condition. They have uh, they have measured their impact on satisfaction and on satisfaction to continuous intention and on continuous intention to continuous behavior. This is basically the model they have used. But we need uh, to see, this is another type of model they have used. These are the factors that basically influence their satisfaction and from satisfaction to continuous intention and from continuous intention to continuous behavior. So we need to see how they have measured uh, different types of variable. These are the demographics they have used as a part of their questionnaire. These are the variables we need to see the statement. So we can check here. Let me show you the statement. Maybe they have provided at the end. 
yes they have provided there so if you need to use social interaction you can use these statement and you can also change them as per the requirement of your study they have adopted these you can see here the word adopted they have adopted these mayer from a study uh, chen 2007 so if you adopt these uh, mayer from this study you need to uh, tell in your methodology section about this author you need to use uh, their uh, basically you need to use their reference you need to find their reference on the website of Emerald. So here are information sharing they have adopted from a number of studies. You can choose uh, from where you have adopted for your study. They have entertainment, interpersonal influence, media influence, facilitating condition, satisfaction. So uh, what I would like to make you clear about that whenever you need to develop your questionnaire, always remember that some uh, of the variable you, you are going to use from some study and some of the variables you are going to use from some other study. So let's suppose, let's suppose, I would like to consider a study. Let's suppose I have an idea that I would like to consider a study on factors. Innovation. Uh, staff. Let's suppose this is this is what I am uh, basically searching. So I need to have a mayor on and a mayor on staff. So how can I find the mayor? I go to Google. Uh, I mean to say Google Scholar. I can search here. The definition and measurement of innovation, but it is very old measure. It is 1998. Uh, try to find out some measure uh, that you can take from some recent study. Indicator used to measure service innovation and man manufacturing measure uh, innovation. You can take this you can also see some other studies who are recent measuring technological innovation yes this can also be taken how to measure innovation it is very old measure conceptualized framework for measurement of innovation capability this is this one is old let let me check whether uh, we can find a measure over here here. So let's suppose I would like to see how they have measured innovation. They have said that there are four types of innovation, product or service innovation, process innovation, marketing innovation, and organizational innovation. First of all, I need to understand which type of innovation I would like to measure and uh, how they have measured it i need to see the measurement we need to understand this paper it is very long paper we, we can we can check the other paper too i think we have downloaded no. this one is not downloaded so we need to check some other variables or some other measures. For example, I would like to see a service. The impact of service innovation on farm performance. Let me check this measure. 
this this one is also good we can check it this cannot be accessible from here so we need to check some other paper this this one is accessible so we can check it by downloading from the pdf in order to find out how we can use this maya and the other part you can develop by your own self let me download it may take some time in order to download it's taking too much time all right let me conclude you just need to see where your required mayer is available let's suppose if you need to see the service innovation you you need to see where how they have mayered with how many statements they have mayered service innovation 1 service innovation 2 service innovation c and so on they will definitely provide you some statement so no statement here and you need to change those statement as per the requirement then you need to put here uh, in, in the similar way you need to uh, provide here staff performance one staff performance two staff performance and let's suppose they have top performance for uh, in order to make so uh, you you need to put these statement into your questionnaire in order to develop your questionnaire like i have developed here uh, i have provided here the example so at at the first part you need to put an introductory uh, introductory part in the second part we need to put the demographic factors uh, these demographic factors to uh, you, you can place your own self but remember that gender age qualification occupation these are uh, some essential parts that you need to put here uh, but the other parts you can you can uh, take as per your requirement of the study but these are the statements that you carefully Uh, adopt from some other study. Uh, so these these are the measures you need to put here uh, from one to five. One is basically strongly dis disagree. D stand for disagree, and uh, uh, N stand for neutral. A stand for agree. S A stand for strongly agree. So these are basically provided by yourself, and these are the statement that you adopt from other study. So. this is how yeah, yes uh, this this is basically available now it took time but it is available so they have used process innovation and product innovation and we need to see these statements whether they have provided this statement or not they actually have not provided this statement so we need to contact them uh to email we need to contact these authors and they will provide you the complete uh, questionnaire that you can change and adopt as uh, uh, if they have not provided in their uh, questionnaire so you need to contact them so this is how you can do it the second thing is uh, code book creation as we have uh, previously done some of the things in code book uh, i have shared a code book with you i have shared uh, a file with you let me open that file uh this one this one was uh, i have done in my previous class in my previous session like uh, i have told you how to enter gender age marital status children so let's suppose these we have done previously and uh, let me explain to you 
the further part from here. This was uh, basically the questionnaire that we were filling. And we were using this. Strongly disagree to strongly agree. Like uh, I want to code it. I need to understand what does it mean. This is uh, this is adopted from this study. Uh, let me indicate the survey code book. Yes, this one. S W L S. Basically, they have indicated the name S W L S as as a coding uh, for here. S S W L S one in the same way S W L S two S W L S three S W L S four S W L S five. So let's suppose uh, these are basically the statement related to these. The, these are six. So I have coded this name as a SWLS. So I need to code SWLS6 here. You can place the statement here if you would like to. For example, uh, this is the first statement. I need to put it here in the label box because this is this this defines what is SWLS1 uh, indicates. In the same way, you can put the second statement like this in this box. You can place the third statement here. Like this, you can place the fourth statement here. Like this, you can place the fifth statement here. From here, and put it there. And place the statement here. Like this. Now, the next thing is value labeling. How can we value label? For this, we need to see this thing. Strongly disagree to disagree. One means strongly disagree, two means disagree, three means neutral, four means agree, and five means. Strongly agree. This is the scale which is normally provided with every uh, questionnaire. So you need to place it here. One mean strongly this two means this agree. Three means neutral. It means neither agree nor disagree. Four means agree. Five means strongly. All right. Now you need not to enter it again. If the same scale is used, you just need to come here, press Control C, press Control C, and then you select these all. And press Control V. It will automatically code them with the same scaling. Uh, you need to put here the scale option because it is used when you are going to use five point Likert scale or seven point Likert scale. This is what you need to do. So I hope you have understand. I will share uh, some other example files like uh, uh, example one code book, uh, example two code book example three code books so you need to enter 
uh, you need to practice the uh, code book creation in the similar way in order to see what you have done here. So if you have any question, uh, you can ask me, Rabia, if you understood this procedure uh, and if you have any question or confusion. No, sir, no questions. All right. I will share uh, with you some uh, examples uh, in your WhatsApp uh, number and you will uh, need to you will need to do uh, what you need to do. For example, this is the first one. Uh, this is the first you need to you need to create uh, you, you need to leave the uh, name option because it is not required in analysis. You can create an age with different age categories, then gender, then qualification with these options. All right. Uh, you need to create occupation with these options. Uh, you, you can leave the job location. This is not required. You can put the residential location. You can put the uh, monthly income option. Then you need to place these. I have provided the coding FK1, FK2, FK3, and so on. And these are basically uh, which you are going to use in value labeling. So I will provide you uh, the this, this file for your understanding. Uh, let's uh, meet tomorrow for further analysis. All right? Okay, sir. Thank you for joining.